starting today, November 18th, over 178,000 CDL drivers flagged as prohibited in the FMCSA's Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse are at risk of having their licenses automatically downgraded. And that means that their commercial driving privileges are gone. So no warnings, no appeals, just gone until they take action to fix it. And yeah, that's a lot of drivers and it's all happening today. So let's back up for a second. What does prohibited status actually mean? It's pretty straightforward. If you failed a drug or alcohol test, you're listed as prohibited in the clearinghouse. And think of it as like a no-fly list for CDL holders. Once you're on it, you can't legally operate a commercial motor vehicle until you go through the process to clear your name. And up until now, though, being on that list didn't automatically mean your CDL was invalid. It was up to employers and law enforcement or roadside inspections to catch you. But with this new phase, phase two of the clearinghouse, it's a whole different story. State driver licensing agencies are now required to downgrade your CDL automatically if you're listed as prohibited. And that means you're completely out of the driver's seat until you complete the required return to duty process. And that applies to everybody with a CDL, whether you're an independent operator or driving for a big fleet. So how do you end up in this situation? It all comes down to drug and alcohol testing. For drug tests, CDL drivers are usually screened through the urine test. They're looking for substances like marijuana, cocaine, opioids, amphetamines, and PCP. For alcohol, it's typically a breathalyzer or saliva test, and the legal limit is incredibly strict for CDL holders. A blood alcohol concentration of 0.04% or higher, and you're flagged. Fail one of these tests, or refuse to take it altogether, and you're automatically reported to the clearinghouse. Now, if your CDL gets downgraded, is it game over? Not necessarily, but you've got some work to do. And to get back on the road, you'll need to complete the RTD process. And this involves working with a substance abuse professional who will evaluate you and possibly recommend treatment or education. And once you've completed that, you'll need to pass a follow-up drug or alcohol test. Only then can your CDL privileges be reinstated. But here's the big question. What happens next if you can't ignore all this and you keep driving without fixing your status? Honestly, that's a nightmare waiting to happen. Do not do that. If you're caught driving without a valid CDL, you're risking massive fines, potential jail time, and a permanent mark on your record. So employers who let prohibited drivers stay on the road can also face huge fines over 5,800 bucks per violation. And if there's an accident, like just forget it. The legal and financial fallout could ruin your career altogether. And this change is a wake up call for the industry. It's designed to close the loopholes that allowed some drivers to slip through the cracks. And sure, it makes sense from a safety perspective. Nobody wants impaired drivers on the road. But let's not ignore the ripple effects. And with this many drivers flagged, the industry could see a real stain on capacity, especially for smaller carriers who might suddenly find themselves short-staffed. And if you're a driver in prohibited status, you've still got a chance to fix this. But you need to act now. The RTD process isn't optional, and the sooner you start, the sooner you can get back behind the wheel. And if you're a carrier, this is your heads up. Make sure you're checking the clearinghouse and running annual checks on all of your drivers. If you haven't been doing this already, you are way behind. So bottom line, this is a massive change for trucking. It's all already happening. Whether you're a driver or a fleet owner, take this seriously, okay? Ignoring it isn't just risky, it's career ending. And if you've got thoughts on this, whether you think it's fair, how you think it'll affect the industry, or even just how you're handling it, let's hear it. Please comment below. Stay compliant, stay safe, and let's keep trucking moving forward.